Now let us look at the second way to perform a loop in Python, which is using the while statement. Unlike a for loop, in a while loop, we don't iterate over a sequence. Instead, we evaluate a condition first. And if that condition evaluates to true, then we go on to our first iteration inside the loop. At the end of the first iteration, we again evaluate the condition. And if it is still true, we go on to the second iteration. This is repeated until the condition becomes false. So somewhere in your while block, you need to make that condition false. If you do not do that, your while loop runs indefinitely until it consumes all your CPU and memory and crashes your computer. Now let us illustrate how a while loop works with some examples. Let me create a program by the name while.py. I'm giving a command to illustrate how while loop works. The syntax of the while loop is simple. That's the while. And then here you give a condition followed by a colon. And then you have the list of statements uh, that needs to be performed inside a loop. Statement 1 and statement 2. So, just like in a for loop, the statements that have to be executed within a while loop have to be indented. Okay. So, let us give some values. Let us say we have a variable a and it is initialized to 1. And let us say we have a condition that we want to execute the loop until a is less than 10. And what are the statements we want to execute until a is less than 10? Let us just print it out. Print the value of a is then you provide a variable name a. Okay. If I just execute this, what do you think will happen? A is initialized to 1 and before the while loop is executed, it checks this condition is a less than 10. Yes, that is true. So it will get on, get inside the while uh, block. So it will be printing the value of a here. After the end of the first iteration, it will again check whether a is still less than 10. It will be still less than 10 because it is still initialized to 1 and we have not changed the value of a again. So it will continue to be 1 and it will again print the value of a. And after the end of the second iteration, it will again check and it will still be 1 and it will again print the value of a. And this will happen repeatedly and indefinitely until we run out of memory and the system will crash. So to prevent that from happening, we have to increment. Assuming that we want to really execute this for say 10 times, then I need to increment the value of a here, a is equal to a plus 1. So what this will do is, in the first iteration, the value of a will become 2. And, and when it checks for the condition of uh, condition here, it will be 2 less than 10. And that is still true. It will go on to the second iteration. But at the end of the second iteration, the value will become 3 here. And that is what it will be checking uh, here next. So this will repeat until 9 times and in the 10th time the value of a will be 10 and we will check if this condition is true which will not be and hence the while loop will no longer be executed so it will break the loop okay so if we really want to execute like 10 times we need to 
have a condition like less than or equal to 10. So until this condition is true, it will execute the print statement and it will calculate the value of VA incrementing the previous value by 1. So let's execute this program. Python file.py as expected we got the value of uh, a being printed for 10 times and in each iteration we are implementing the value of a and hence you can see that value getting changed over every iteration there is another way to do this you can say instead of giving a condition here you can hard code the value true and what this means is that you are going to be running this loop indefinitely right so the loop will get executed indefinitely but within the loop you can make some checks so here you can make use of the if condition here if a is greater than 10 we want to come outside the loop right so for that python provides a break statement break okay note that i am indenting break with respect to the if statement because i want the break to happen only if this condition is met for the if statement okay so this break is not with respect to the while but it is with respect to the if statement which in turn is within the while loop so we have an indentation with respect to the if so let us execute this program and before I execute, let me tell you what we are doing here again. So while and then we are hard coding the Boolean value true. And what this will do is this will every time the iteration is executed, this condition will always be true. So this loop will run indefinitely. But somewhere within this loop, we are checking a condition using the if statement okay so using the if statement we are checking if the value of a is greater than 10 if it is greater than 10 then we are making use of a break statement within python to exit the loop okay so instead of using the condition in the while loop we are making use of a condition um, we are making use of the if condition within the loop okay so this is another way to break out of a loop so let us execute this program oh yeah so the boolean value starts with the capital t okay so while true let's execute the program so as expected we get the same result 1 to 10 so the first time it was using the condition within the uh, while statement and the second time we hard coded the condition as true in the while statement but within the loop we checked for the condition using the if statement and we broke out from the loop when the um, variable uh, a had a value greater than 10 so the same result using two different methods hope this is clear